Ember hurried away from the birds. The mist hung close to Ember, hiding them. The forest king seemed frightened. The birds crew Ember would rather risk turning forlorn than become like them. Ahead there would be others to help, and maybe a way to move on. Traveler whispered quietly, No matter where I go, I always end up here. No matter where I go, always here. It looked like a map, but pieces were missing. Peace formed a new route. It was the same place as before, but how? An eerie scene, like a moment frozen in time. Gradually, more of the map was revealed. A section of bridge had somehow been ripped from its foundations. It was like the map had been broken on purpose. The mist revealed a secret place. Was it hidden on purpose? The statue spoke, just as it once moved the hearts of the forlorn. 
The instrument you now hold has the power to move the world of another before you to great effort to hide it deep within this riddle. The lanthorn began to glow. There was one last place to reach on the map. Ember felt a great relief to be out of the mist. The way through was ruined. Muffled by the fog, Ember was sure they heard a rumble. Could that have been a tremendous snore? Ember didn't mind getting muddy. The slide was such fun. The fruit was giving off a sickly sweet smell. Ember chuckled. The dangerous plant was no match for a hungry piggy. Hideous odor filled the air. And suddenly, the reason was obvious. The pig inhaled a giant snort of air. Wait, what's that delicious smell? Ember shuffled nervously. Other embers fed me treats. 
but then stopped. You feed me now. It was junk. Maybe the pig would eat some junk. As the pig chewed, a light grew in its belly. Surprising, a little sparky, but tingly in the belly. But what I want is something more fruity. The pig would eat anything. Ember just needed to find more. And with each thing it ate, the light grew even brighter. Fruity, fresh, but tastes a lot like mud. But what I want is... Something with more crunch. Perhaps if Ember could satisfy the pig, they might be more helpful. was disgusting. Perhaps the pig would like it. This was the last thing Ember could find to offer. Crunchy, embery, not much meat, but what I want is... The pig's stomach made an almighty sound. Ember chuckled with relief at the large creature they had been so afraid of. The pig had vanished, but something moved beneath the surface. In a muddy pond, Ember thought the pig looked a lot less imposing. The pig shouted joyously. The water feels so good on the skin. Join me, Morsel. The pig seemed happy, but Ember wasn't getting too close. Why do I consume whatever people put in front of me? I need some true nourishment, but there's none left here. But so much cooler in this muddy pond, I can finally think. Thank you, Morsel. Ember came upon another campfire lost in the wilderness. It looked lo the ghost said, speak and I will listen. This is the hollow marsh. Here hope was consumed before it could flourish. You must not lose hope, or you too will turn forlorn. Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. The forest king watches the doors. The campfire will light the way. Find those who are lost. Bring embers to the fire.
Travel wisely. Return if you have lost your way. Stranger knew they had to move on. at all. To leave now seemed unbearable. Stranger stared past Embo. I'm almost ready. Let me sit a little longer. I will catch up. I promise.
the stranger had come so very far. They felt the air beneath them, the distance ever widening. It was such a long way down. A resolve stirred within the stranger. Just a few more steps. It can't be much further. Stranger puzzled over their journey. Some steps felt effortless. unseen. Gratefully, the stranger said, Friend, thank you. We all help each other along the path.
The stranger was afraid. They couldn't see what lay ahead. Ember saw their own fear reflected in the stranger. Darkness hungered for them all. Little Ember spoke hesitantly. How do you continue, never knowing if we'll reach the end? The pot had turned cold. The fire had died. Nothing the cook made felt good enough. Endlessly stirring the same tasteless pot. Couldn't focus, sleepwalking through the days. Aimed inwards was a swirl of thoughts. In the eye of the storm, a fragile flicker. They wanted to serve something perfect. The praise of others was hollow. Cook felt numb and hurt all at once. Softly. 
Oh, hello, little one. I didn't see you. I must have lost myself for a moment. It's supposed to be my new soup recipe. But it's not ready. It's not done. A wonderful smell wafted towards Ember. You look starving, poor thing. Have a little taste. It's not right yet. It was the most beautiful thing Ember had ever tasted. I know. It's got no flavor, nothing special. Ember wished the cook would believe them. Oh, I'd forgotten how good it feels, feeding folk. But it's not ready. There's no need to pretend just to make me feel better. The cook stirred their soup, looking at Ember, looking at the pot, staring, thinking. Soon, maybe. Oh, I used to love this. I just want to be good at it. But it feels like I'm making the same things over and over. Nothing has flavor. I'm stuck. If you know what you want, I can try. But I really need some better ingredients. Something from the orchard could have worked. If it was still standing. Oh! The cooks struggled to hold back their emotions. The pigs have gotten in me orchard. Planted every sapling I did. All me hard work ruined. Take the key and have a look yourself. I can't bear to. See if anything is left, but I promise you, there won't be. The stranger couldn't take on more. The stranger stretched their limbs. Perhaps it is not too late after all.
orchard gate was locked and needed a key. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. The cook was right. Pigs had destroyed everything. Ember chuckled. The dangerous plant was no match for a hungry piggy. The frog seemed nervous, but also relieved to see Ember. They told Ember that the birds had let all the pigs into the orchard, and that the pigs had eaten everything. All whilst the birds watched and laughed. Except one precious thing the frog had managed to keep safe. The frog offered the lotus seed to Ember. They pleaded for Ember to take the lotus seed to their old friend the cook. As the frog knew how important good ingredients were in hard times. The stranger closed their eyes and let the fog overwhelm them. Soft, gentle fog, it held them like vice. The mist could not be pushed, would not be fanned away. The stranger spoke. The fog didn't choose me, it just was. I hope it never closes on you, friend.
the stranger couldn't face themselves. Sean. It had been easier just to turn aside. The stranger searched Ember's face. Is there hope for me, do you think? Will I make it? So soon? I can't believe... Where did you... I've never cooked with lotus seeds before. Ember felt happy seeing the cook suddenly so full of purpose. What a lovely surprise! What a lovely surprise! Please try some. It's not much, but there's plenty to go around. Help yourself. Well, little one, and do remember me if you are ever hungry. was joyous. What is this morsel? My insides feel as refreshed as my outsides. I did not dream such food was possible. We will plant a garden of treats. We will grow and eat like picky kings. Compliments to the chef. You have done all you can, little one. Your journey lies ahead. You have done well to get this far, little one. 
I will clear the path ahead for you. You have seen another watching over you. They know the secrets of this place. Seek them out. <laughs> 